हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेमेस्टर वाला दिस इज द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रांसमिसिबिलिटी ऑफ फोर्स लेट मी टेल यू दैट वेन एवर यू विल बी डीलिंग विथ फोर्सेस यू विल बी यूजिंग दिस प्रिंसिपल नोइंगली और अनोइंगली नाउ वट इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रांसमिसिबिलिटी एंड वाई इज इट यूज हाउ इज इट यूज वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस we are going to understand everything in this video but first i would like to explain what is force although all of you know already what is a force you already deal with forces in several subjects but if i ask you to define force technically some of you might find it difficult if i define force in simple words i can say that it is the interaction between two bodies See, whenever there are structures or machines, several members are connected together. It's not made of one or two members, right? A structure or a machine, it is made of several members which are connected together. Now these members are interacting with each other. What does it mean? It means they are pulling each other. They are pushing each other. So this pulling and pushing, I am saying that it is called interaction. okay so two members are interacting with each other they are pulling they are pushing now if i want to show how they are interacting whether they are pushing each other or pulling each other then i will show that using forces in technical terms force is the action of one body on another body which tends to change the motion of the other body what is the effect of force what is the objective of force a force is trying to change the motion of the other body what does it mean if a body is at rest then the force is trying to move the body and if the body is already moving then it is trying to change the magnitude or direction of the speed so it is trying to change how the body is moving okay let's say there are two bodies body number 1 and body number 2 and let's imagine they are pushing each other so how are you going to show this interaction between these two bodies so we will show this using forces how so force is defined by the magnitude means how much is the magnitude whether it is 100 newton 10 kilo newton 5 kilo newton 500 newton so that is magnitude then point of application at which point the force is acting and third is line of action or direction as these bodies are circular the line of action will be connecting the centers of these bodies so the force is acting along this line so this is showing the direction of the force now i will show the magnitude of the force using this arrow the length of arrow represents the magnitude okay for example let's say you want to show 10 kN of force so let's say 1 cm is 1 kN so you will draw a 10 cm line okay if you are using graph paper then okay so this is let's say force f12 so this will be f21 F21 will be minus of F1 because they are applying equal and opposite force on each other Newton's third law okay so this is how the bodies are interacting with each other this body is pulling pushing this body and this body is pushing this body okay now understand this here the magnitude of the force and the line of action of the force is very important but the point of application it is not that important right now i am applying f12 at this point whatever effect i am getting i will get the same effect if i move this force along this line anywhere if i apply this force at this point like this then also the effect will remain same this is principle of transmissibility so what is principle of transmissibility it states that 
द पॉइंट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर्स कैन बी मूव्ड एनीवेयर along the line of action of force without changing the external effects of the force on the rigid body what is external effect external effect means reaction let's say i am applying a force on a body whatever reaction force i am getting that is an external effect or if the body body's motion is changing let's say the velocity of the body is changing then whatever the change in velocity i am getting that is the external effect so these external effects will remain same if i move this force anywhere along the line of action let's say this is a rigid body right now i am applying a force f at this point let's say this is point a and i am getting some change in velocity let's say 10 meter per second velocity is changing if i move this force this particular force here let's say at point b then i also i will get the same change in velocity if i am getting change in velocity 10 meter per second here then here also it will remain same 10 meter per second means this is equal to this so you can move this force anywhere along this line and the external effect will remain same let me explain it how the external effect remains same let's say we have a box it is subjected to two forces let's say this is first force this is second force both are equal in magnitude f right now what is the external effect the net force is zero yes now let's move this particular force from this point to this point like this and let's move this force from this point to this point like this so you can see i have changed their point of application right this left force was acting here so i moved it from here to here and this right force was acting here i moved it from here to here what will be the external effect in this particular case it will remain same if the net force was zero here the net force will also be zero here because i am changing only the point of application along the line of action you can't move the force from here to here then the external effect will change okay so you can move the force along this line anywhere okay but the internal effects will change what is internal effect you might have heard of stress which is internal force per unit area so stress will change in both cases here you can see that the forces are compressive the stress is compressive but here the stress will be tensile the formation that is also an internal effect here the length will decrease here the length will increase so these are known as internal effects which you study in strength of materials okay if you are a mechanical engineer you study it in strength of materials so in that case you cannot apply principle of transmissibility because if you change the point of application internal effects will change but the external effects means reaction forces or the motion variables velocity acceleration these values will remain same if you move the force along the line of application so principle of transmissibility is applicable in this subject engineering mechanics because in this subject we deal with only external effects but when we deal with internal effects in other subjects we cannot use this principle now you will be using this principle whenever you will be dealing with forces for example in the upcoming lectures when you will study about calculating the moment of force you will be using this particular principle so there you will see the application of this particular principle Thank you so much.